blending contemporary Ford styling cues found on other crossovers, like the Escape and EcoSport, with what we saw in the teaser, gives us an idea of what to expect from the baby Bronco. More rugged aspects, like the front skid plate and recovery hooks, communicate the crossover's off-road intentions, as do the aggressive tires, body cladding, and short overhangs. There's a lot we can gather just from the vehicle's size, class, and probable competitors. The Renegade is almost certainly what Ford will benchmark for the baby Bronco, especially because it sits in that sliver of daylight between EcoSport and Escape. And EcoSport, despite the body quitting, isn't capable of anything beyond the lightest dirt road duty. We expect the baby Bronco, despite being built on a car-like unibody architecture with a transversely mounted engine, to have the kind of scrambling capabilities to mix it up with the Renegade. While there is a Trailhawk version of the Renegade, and Ford is quite openly trying to occupy the off-roading space, don't expect to be chasing Wranglers up rocky gullies in the baby Bronco. We expect a light-duty all-wheel drive system with some traction and software tricks to do a semblance of legitimate off-roading, but nothing like a real low-range transfer case or true locking differentials. That said, the ability to lock the center differential to provide some extra traction by forcing a more balanced front-rear power split is certainly possible. We also expect independent suspension front and rear. The six-speed automatic used in the Escape is likely to show up in the baby Bronco, unless Ford develops a transaxle with more gears to slot below its recent 10-speed unit.